so what are the techniques to trick your brain into a beast mode where you study for more than 12 hours per day is what i'm going to take talk to you in this video hi i'm dr rmd and i was kct rank 175 in 2016 need pg all india rank 838 in my first attempt and md pediatrics gold medalist and i'll tell you what is this insane trick behind training your brain to do this first thing that is most necessary and that you need to understand is make things easy for your brain trick your brain for any habit to inculcate you should make it work for 21 days do anything for 21 days and you automatically learn your habit and then it becomes a routine so but how to trick your brain into it what happens is everyone sits for one day two days first two days you are full of enthusiasm you will study for uh, uh, insanely crazily you will study for around uh, 10 hours 12 hours per day first day is dead easy second day a fatigue sets in on third day you give hope and by fourth day you have broken the cycle hence procrastination sets in and you are out of the race now training your brain again to sit and go to this target it feels insanely impossible so i'll tell you a few tricks few smart techniques with which you don't have to face this problem again first thing is making a schedule now the problem with everyone for making a schedule is you make a schedule which is very rigid schedule what do you mean by rigid schedule let's say you want to study for 12 hours per day how many hours of rest do you give you may give hardly one or two hours of rest per day which is not at all enough so what does an ideal study schedule look like it should be flexible it should be very flexible unless it is flexible unless you include rest in your schedule you are not going to reach this target so how do you make a flexible schedule first thing don't wake up at 5 am in the morning that is the first rule don't wake up wake up at a time which you are comfortable with which everyone is comfortable with that is at around 6:30 am so 6:30 am is the time when your day should start take 30 minutes of routine activities start at 7 am this is what i used to do during my md pediatrics exam which gave me gold medal i was university topper so 7 am till 8:30 am this one and half an hour is going to be very 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 important that is because here you are fresh your hormones are fresh your dopamine is at the upper level so whatever you study in this hour should be those topics which you are weak at so this is for weak topics so that you can fully concentrate on these topics second then give a break for your breakfast 45 minutes then you start at 9:15 am 9:15 am sounds like a good time right this should continue till 1:30 pm in the afternoon now you'll ask me sir i hardly can sit for 30 minutes 45 minutes how will i be sitting for four and a half an hours how will how will i complete this target it is insane it is not possible i am not trained to do this so the trick for this is something known as pomodoro i bet you have definitely heard about pomodoro but the problem is you don't know how to implement pomodoro i'll tell you how to implement pomodoro pomodoro sessions can be short pomodoro sessions or long pomodoro sessions the typical uh, attention span of a human being is around around 40 minutes for those who have very bright who have increased attention span it can go up to one hour typically it is 40 minutes so this will be the basis of our pomodoro technique you will be doing pomodoro of 40 bar 10 so total of 50 minutes got my point so that means this 9:15 am to 1:30 pm schedule will be divided into 9:15 to 10 am with 5 minutes break 10 10 sorry 10 5 am okay 10 5 am to 10 45 am with 10 minutes break then 11 am to 11:40 am with 5 minutes of break 11:45 am to 12:30 pm with 5 minutes of uh, with 10 minutes of break okay 10 minutes and last is 12:40 pm to 1:30 pm with 
lunch later on so what happens here is you are able to concentrate you are able to concentrate for five pomodoro cycles this five pomodoro cycles account to almost 4 hours and 15 minutes and this is 4 hours and 15 minutes let's take 15 minutes out of the question 4 hours of effective study so before 1:30 pm you would have totally done how many hours 1 and 1/2 hours over here and then you'll be doing 4 hours so 5 and 1/2 hours of effective study before 1:30 pm got my point now what happens after this i'm going just going to erase this okay so what happens after this is what is very important very important this is because post lunch okay we will be giving lunch from 1:30 pm till 2:15 pm okay this is for 45 minutes which is quite reasonable in the rest 5 10 minutes whatever you can uh, uh, like you can have lunch in half an hour just 10 15 minutes you can uh, talk to your family or you can use social media whatever okay now after this you will start exactly at 2:15 pm okay and you'll go till 3 pm so this accounts for total 45 minutes now it is very important to note that during this time this is post lunch session which is a very drowsy session so during this time you will be giving importance to solving questions solving questions it can be some multiple choice question or it can be a type of exercise type of questions anything because here your brain is at a lower level it is at its uh, lower most level right now okay so after this very important and some of you might be surprised 3 pm to 4 pm we are dedicating for sleep that is a short power nap now you would ask me what is the necessity sir why do we need to give a power nap in between that is because your brain had started at 6:30 am and since 6:30 am from 7 am it has gone it has run like a machine it is like non stop ma- machine and believe me once you start following this technique you won't feel exhausted but after post lunch you will feel slightly drowsy and you will feel that your efficiency has decreased because our main target is to improve our efficiency our main target is to improve our efficiency and nothing else the more efficient we are the better we are at completing our target so 3 pm to 4 pm we'll have a short power nap and believe me i have done this i have done this for over a month and that's how i got gold medal not simply okay so once you have done power nap only then you will be very fresh okay so once you are fresh your brain is again functioning at full capacity so you will start at 4 pm and you will go till 6 pm here will you will be doing two pomodoro sessions same thing okay but here you will be doing it for 50 minutes and 10 minutes of break got my point 50 minutes and 10 minutes of break so essentially here you will be having almost 2 hours okay 2 hours so initially we had 1 and 1/2 hour then we had 5 and 1/2 hour then we had 2 hours now what is very 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 important and no one stresses on this is time for exercise and time for your family so these two you have to give between 6 pm to 8 pm this 2 hours per day 2 hours per day you are not going to lose anything by giving time to your family because this study session is not a sprint it is not a 100 meter sprint it is a marathon it is a marathon you will have to run long you might have to should do this for 6 months and over long term and over long term this study technique needs to be reflexly inculcated into your system it's not like you do it for 2 days and then leave it it's not a 100 meter sprint it's a marathon you will have to do it daily and then you should get uh, so accustomed to it that it becomes a routine so it it is very absolutely necessary that you give adequate rest you do exercise you give time for your family after this we'll have dinner also along with this and we'll start fresh we'll start fresh at evening 8 pm so from 8 pm to 8 pm to 10 pm 2 hours you will be doing pomodoro okay pomodoro two sessions of 50 by 10 and because it is night and you already uh, you so many hours of study you will be little bit uh, uh, stressed okay you will be little bit frustrated you will be exhausted that's why you can dedicate uh, uh, this 2 hours for solving mcqs for solving problem based questions or mcqs this is the ideal time for dedicating for mcqs so now let's see how many hours have you dedicated so far okay 
so morning you had dedicated 7 am till 8:30 am that is 1 and 1/2 hours then you are dedicated from 9:15 am to 1:30 pm which is almost 4 hours then you are dedicated uh one at uh, 215 pm to 3 pm which was 45 minutes then you are dedicated 4 pm to 6 pm which was 2 hours and then 8 pm to 10 pm which was 2 hours so in total you have 2 plus 2 that is 4 4 plus 4 8 8 and half okay that is total uh, Uh, two plus two plus four that is eight, eight and uh, nine and half almost equal to eleven and half hours. But what is the total duration of study from six thirty a.m. till ten p.m. You will rest at ten thirty p.m. and you will wake up next day morning at six thirty p.m. so that you have total eight hours of sleep. So dedicating eleven and half an hours to twelve hours of effective, efficient study per day, not daily. Per day you are dedicating this, not over a week. Per day, and this is not at all impossible. This is not at all impossible because initially I was thinking that this is difficult, very difficult. Then it become yes, I can do it. Then I was like yes, this is possible because I have done it. If you go to my YouTube video, you will notice that I had done live streaming of twelve to fourteen hours per day. Me sitting in front of camera and studying on youtube live stream which is possible so what are the difficulties that you face when you do this pomodoro session what are the difficulties first difficulty is distraction and what is distraction first number one distraction is your mobile this is the biggest distraction now what to do with mobile it's easy if you have something if you need mobile when you are going to Uh, learn okay maybe you are watching some video or maybe you are using chat gpt for understanding concepts or anything so if you have mobile with you then what you will be doing you will be using an app known as detox detox app and second you will be using an app known as one sec both this app this detox app locks all your phone out you can't open any app it totally blocks your app For whatever time you have set, you can even preset your time. Like uh, before, like let's say you want to start at 11 a.m. and you have taken a break at 10:50 a.m. But now what happens if you start using mobile at 10:50 a.m. You are going to use it till 11:30 a.m. No, so we don't want this to happen. So what happens is when you want to start your break, you just go to this detox app and preset your alarm. Preset your alarm to 11 a.m. So that automatically when you are seeing when you reach 11 a.m. it will automatically shut down your mobile will shut down so you have no other choice but to open your book and study similarly one sec app selectively blocks selectively blocks your youtube shorts and instagram reels and i think these two things are the ones which keep you in loop continuously if these two are out of the question right then it becomes very easy to focus you'll realize it once you have installed this okay i am not promoting any app but this is what i used second problem is accountability which means you need to be accountable that you have studied so what to do you have to join some groups study groups or you should have some study partners partners for study or you should have some mentors just like how i am uh, uh, doing youtube live mentorship where i take accountability from students For studying these many hours per day and the topics that I give, they must finish at the end of the day. Similarly, you can join some group or some schedule or some a form of program where you are made accountable to finish those topics on time. If you do this along with the schedule that I had given, believe me, once twenty-one days are completed, no one can absolutely beat you. No one can even touch you, and you'll notice a visible difference within you. What is important out of this is weekly one day, weekly one day, you should give rest of at least six hours. Let's say you are doing morning session, afternoon onwards take rest. You deserve it. If there is an outing, your friends are going out, your parents are going out, just go out because these golden moments won't come back to your life again. If you are going for a trip, go out. Don't feel guilty. Enjoy, but come back 
and restart your schedule. This is only thing which is required to crack any entrance exam. I have cracked all these entrance exams in my first attempt. No second attempt, only first attempt in limited time. And this was my crazy schedule. Nothing else is required. So how to study 12 hours per day? Only three things are required. One is a proper schedule. Second is remote distractions. And third is be accountable. Follow these three golden rules throughout